She's two years old and has all the energy of a healthy toddler. But Lakshmi is not your average two-year-old. Born into a poor family in India's northeastern state of Bihar, she has an extremely rare medical condition. Lakshmi is actually an ischiopagus conjoined twin, which means she has two bodies fused together at the pelvis, extending in a straight line with one head and eight limbs. Lakshmi's father, a farmer, says that when she was born, the family was terrified they wouldn't be able to care for her. She was born during the Hindu holiday season of Diwali, and gradually villagers began to revere her as an incarnation of her namesake, Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess of wealth. He says, everyone started worshipping her, we also worshipped her. He tells us, after all, the whole village was doing so. Lakshmi's first months were difficult. She developed infections and fevers and needed urgent medical attention. After months of searching for a surgeon willing to take the case, they were referred to an orthopedic surgeon in the southern Indian city of Bangalore, who agreed to assemble a team of specialists to do the surgery for free. Unlike the routine surgical procedures we perform day in and day out, this is a special situation. Um, there are many, many issues, many, many special specialists have to be involved in this. On Tuesday morning, a group of 36 doctors began a marathon operation, which they expect to last at least 40 hours. First aspect is to disentangle or get rid of this parasitic twin, the whole torso, the limbs of this parasitic twin, away from Lakshmi. Equally important will be the reconstruction of the pelvis, of the bones in the pelvis. Anywhere between 20 to 30 percent chance of losing the baby. Now, Lakshmi's mother waits. Before the surgery, she said she had just one message. Please pray for my daughter and pray that the operation is a success. Anjali Rao, CNN, Hong Kong. The operation went very well. We started at 7.30 yesterday, and it's a, it took about 24 hours, and it went very well. Lakshmi is uh, tolerated the entire operation extremely well, and she is now on a ventilator and being sedated. And once she is more stable and all her hemodynamic and hematological parameters as well as her biochemical parameters settle down completely, we will be hopefully taking her off the ventilator. You can see, and we can see on the screen now, the, the really awful pictures of Lakshmi with that parasitic body essentially attached to her. What exactly did you have to do, if you can tell us in layman's terms? Was it just a case of getting rid of that parasitic element? Uh, that's right. Uh, one of the things was to remove the parasitic element, and there was a kidney of hers that was in the parasitic part. So that had to be moved up into the into Lakshmi's main body and the parasitic part had to be removed. So it was important to sort of transect the spinal cord at, a, at an appropriate level and also to reconstruct her pelvis and her perineum, which have been done rather successfully. So how's the outlook... Uh, sorry to interrupt Pardon? you. You're saying that she she. I'm sorry to interrupt you. It, what's the outlook now for her? Uh, what more operations does she have to go through? I would imagine that she's still got a way to go. Uh, that's right. She's on the ventilator. It'll take a couple of days at least on the ventilator uh, before we plan to uh, take her off the ventilator. And after that, it'll be rehabilitation. We've seen to have done most of the surgery. Uh, she might need some minor surgeries at a later date, but not immediately. We're seeing pictures of her, as I say, and she's got a big smile on her face. Is she a really happy girl? Was she distressed Absolutely. by her condition? She was a very charming, she's a lovely and charming girl. When she came to us, she was quite ill. She had a very low hemoglobin of about five grams and had a parasitic infestation and a constant fever. She has now settled down. I mean, before we took her up for the surgery, we had built up all that, got her hemoglobin up to a normal level, and uh, she was afebrile, or that is, no fever for a few days, and uh, she did well, actually. 
And how are her parents? It must have been a real ordeal for them. In fact, the past couple of years must have been an ordeal growing up with a daughter with this condition. Absolutely. I mean, one was the ridicule, the other was the curiosity, and then the physical the difficulties of having to carry her. Because as you can imagine, with the number of limbs, it's not easy to carry her. And uh, they were also approached by you know, many people trying to intimidate her, trying to get her to join a circus. So they, had, they did have a lot of time. And who has actually paid for this operation? Can you tell me that? Uh, yes, certainly. This entire operation is being sponsored by our, our hospital charitable wing. It's called Spush Foundation, and the name of our hospital is Spush Hospital. And uh, the entire cost of the operation is being borne by this charitable wing. Less than a week after her surgery, two-year-old Lakshmi meets the press, and the doctors pay tribute to her resilience. The hero in this, in this whole story is Lakshmi, not so much all of us. It's a little girl who has withstood a formidable operation very well. Lakshmi has recovered from the 24-hour operation with amazing speed, but she has a long way to go. The wounds are raw, the wounds need to heal, it is a very major operation, so the wound is very big and extensive. And obviously, that, that is something which we are paying great attention to at the moment. Lakshmi made only a brief appearance at Tuesday's news conference, lying in her father's lap. But she looked alert and healthy, and doctors say she is well enough to leave intensive care. For the team of more than 15 surgeons led by Dr. Sharan Patil, a moment of huge satisfaction we must have had at least a dozen meetings in the month where we're working on logistics, sequencing, when do we work on our own, when do we work in tandem. Lakshmi was joined at the pelvis with what's known as a parasitic twin that stopped developing in her mother's womb. The kidneys, one is located here, other functioning kidneys located here. That kidney was transplanted into Lakshmi during surgery. Despite the challenges, the little girl's parents decided to go ahead with a grueling operation. When she was born with an extra pair of arms and legs, some in the family's village saw her as a reincarnated Hindu goddess. In the eyes of the villagers, she is a goddess, says Poonam Tatma. Even after the operation, they will think she is a goddess. But Lakshmi's mother also has her eyes on more mortal achievements for her daughter. We wish that we'd be able to educate her and she can plan her own future, she said. It will be months before Lakshmi completely recovers from her surgery. She will likely return to the village where she was revered by some as a goddess at her birth. But her family now hopes that she can return to life as an ordinary girl. Liz Nislas, CNN, Bangalore. It is her first time outside the hospital since her surgery one and a half months ago. Lakshmi and her family go to a nearby Hindu temple to make an offering and give thanks for her recovery. This is the day she will be released from the hospital. Doctors say all Lakshmi's organs function well and she has had no significant problems in recovery. And, uh, we all are in a great state of joy to have to give this news that she's going home in a truly wonderful condition. None of us really believe that she would be almost normal the way she is today. A dramatic change from her arrival. A startling case of a child with eight limbs, the result of a partially formed co-joined twin. Lakshmi will need at least two more surgeries, possibly on her spine and feet. Further surgical steps are of not great urgency, and I'm not in a hurry to perform them. And it will also help her body to recover and be strong enough to undergo further things. <laughs> Lakshmi can now sit up. She waves a doll, one of her favorite toys. Lakshmi must now learn to walk on her own two legs. Doctors have taught her parents how to stretch and manipulate her feet to help her walk normally. Her mother still worries about being able to afford her daughter's care. Everything is done by money. If I don't have money, it will be difficult, she says. <laughs> Lakshmi and her family have become used to near constant attention of the media. Lakshmi's brother plays nearby his sister, exploring a photographer's camera. 
He says he'll help care for his sister. Lakshmi may eventually move with her family to a residential school for physically challenged children in the state of Rajasthan, with access to physical therapy and medical attention. Lakshmi leaves the hospital and the flurry of press behind. Doctors hope the attention that has been lavished on her will help others in India as well. And a story like this, I sincerely hope, will inspire a lot of people who have problems and these problems are solvable. They need to approach and they need to be educated that the situations have changed. There is no need to resign to the fact that there is a difficult problem. Lakshmi may now have a chance to get an education far beyond what she would have had in her poor village, something her mother once described as a dream for her child. Liz Nislas, CNN, Bangalore. The doctor spoke to us a short while back, uh, the lead surgeon, Dr. Sharon Patil, and he said that uh, he's extremely happy with the way the surgery is progressing. The first incision was made at 8.30 in the morning today, and uh, pediatric surgeons uh, looked at uh, Lakshmi. And a short while back, neurosurgeons have taken over to uh, sort of find out where exactly they should be making that cut in the spinal cord that joins Lakshmi and her parasitic twin. The surgery is expected to last for about 40 hours, so uh, n nowhere uh, near finishing. And we are told that the actual separation of Lakshmi from her parasitic twin will be taking place sometime later in the evening. It's a, it's a very, very complicated and risky surgery, but so far the doctors are hopeful that uh, things are going on schedule and uh, there have been no uh, unpleasant surgery. Prizes. Uh, the, the, the team is, uh, operation is on right now. We've been getting uh, timely bulletins. Every four hours we get a bulletin from the uh, surgeons here as to how the surgery is progressing. Local people have taken Lakshmi to their hearts, haven't they? Absolutely, Adrian. In fact, the, she comes from this remote village in Bihar, in India, where people, uh, you know, when she was born, thought that she was Goddess Lakshmi incarnate because of the fact that she had eight limbs. So villagers in her village in Bihar were quite skeptical when her parents decided to bring her to Bangalore for the surgery. In fact, they even constructed a temple in her name. And once uh, her surgery is complete and once if she returns to Bihar, they intend, uh, you know, worshipping her. That's what her parents also told us, that even the parents of Lakshmi treat her as Goddess Lakshmi. So it's what, heading for 3 o'clock in the afternoon there in Bangalore at the moment, and, uh, and as you said, 40-hour surgery, this is, this is a, a mammoth operation, isn't it? Absolutely, Adrian. It's a 40-hour surgery, and there are 36 uh, surgeons and doctors and paramedical staff who are involved in this complicated and risky surgery that's taking place right now. And this is the first time that a surgery of this kind is happening in India. And if it is successful, yes, it will be a record of some sort here in India because this will be the first such successful surgery of a conjoined twin. The surgery has been successful. All credit to the team which is standing with me right behind. Each one of them, each one of us, have worked through this meticulously for over a month and every planning, every thought of everybody has been with us. We thank everybody's wishes for the child Lakshmi. The surgery itself has been completed. The child has withstood the procedure in an excellent manner. Child is safe. Child is in the intensive care unit as we speak, stable and sound. However, the child is still being ventilated, which is the normal thing to do. And child will remain with the little possibility of things moving in the wrong direction but as you see the entire team all of us are here and we are not going home we're staying back looking after Lakshmi for the next two to three days till we find Lakshmi is going to be safe there's also Lakshmi is kept on a ventilator if there's any untoward things coming up you're all here prepared to take her back to the operating room. God forbid such things should not happen.